anything for club. Do anything for club. They do anything for club. Hello everyone, today I'm back with a new After Effects tutorial. This time I'm gonna show you how you can create a typewriter effect just like this. So for this tutorial you won't need any additional plugins and also this tutorial should work on all editions of After Effects. Ok so let's get straight into it. First of all open up your After Effects and you will straight away create a new composition by pressing Ctrl N. Ok so for the composition settings we'll name it main, also change the width and height to 1920 on 1080 and also make sure that the frames per second are set to 30 fps and make the comp about 10 seconds long. And you can actually choose which color you want to make it, I am just gonna make it black to give it a nice contrast with the final text. So when you've done that you can press ok to create the new composition. Ok so next up we're gonna create a new text layer, you can do this by pressing ctrl T or you can uh, press on the text icon in the top left corner. Ok so now you can type whatever you want, I'm just gonna type typewriter for the sake of this tutorial. So the font that I'm using is a free font, it's called Roboto, it's a free font, I'll include it in the description down below. Also make sure that the text size is set to 250 pixels and also make the text color white. Ok so I'm actually gonna make it all caps so you can change this by pressing the three lines next to the character panel and checking on all caps. Ok so next up you will align everything so open up the align tab and align it in both directions. You can also place the anchor point in the middle of the text by pressing ctrl y. This will open up the pen tool and now you can center the anchor point to the middle of the text. Ok so next up we'll create a new adjustment layer, you can do this by pressing ctrl alt y on your keyboard and just name it effect. Ok so when you've done that you can open up the effects control panel of the adjustment layer and just right click it and go to expressions control and then choose slider controls. Ok so now you can duplicate it 3 more times by selecting the effect and pressing ctrl d. Ok so when you've done that you can actually rename each layer so start off by changing the name of the first layer to speed. Um, this will actually be the speed on how fast the cursor will be moving to the right. The second layer you can name blinking speed. This speaks for itself, this will be the speed of the cursor blinking. Ok and finally you can change the name of the bottom layer to start point. This actually stands for when you want your animation to start off. Ok so we did actually change the names for a reason, we are gonna use them in some expressions. I will include these expressions in the description down below so you can follow along with me. Ok so when you've copied the script you can open up the text layer and then you can actually open up text. So after you've done that you can alt click the small stopwatch next to source text. This will actually open up the scripting area and here you can actually paste the expression from the description. I just click away and also you can drag this black line a bit down so you'll be able to see the entire script. Mm, just like this. Ok so you will get an error but don't worry we'll fix it right away. So actually the reason why you're getting an error is because the variables in the script aren't connected with the names of the effect in the controls panel. Ok to fix the error you will first of all need to select the effects layer again and just go to the effects control panel and click on the lock inside of the effects control panel tab. This will actually toggle the view lock on. Ok so now we're gonna link some words from the expression with the names of the effects in the effects control panel. So first of all highlight the word speed and just drag click the spiral icon to the blinking speed slider effect in the effects control panel. Just like this. And you will see that the expression will change but that's no problem, it's supposed to be like this. Ok so next up we'll highlight start at in the expressions and also like we did in the previous step we'll link this to its parent. So click drag the spiral and drop it on top of the start point slider in the effects control panel. And finally you can highlight the speed word in the expression and drag it onto the speed slider. You'll actually need to repeat the step two times because there are two speed variables in this expression so just copy what I do. Ok so as you will see the error has actually gotten away, this is because we changed all the variables to the parent effect link. Ok so now we can actually start changing up some settings in the effects control panel to adjust it to our needs. So what I like the most is I like to change the speed to something around 7 and the blinking speed to 5 or to 3. It all depends on what kind of look you want. I will just leave it at 3 and for the offset, um, the start point I mean, you can change it to 2. 
This actually means that the effect will start typing at 2 seconds. Ok so the next step is not obligated but you can change it if you want to achieve another kind of effect. So go back to your expression and search for the word cursor with an equal sign next to it. And in between these double quotes you'll see a vertical line symbol. If you want to you can change this to whatever you want. Um, in, in programming languages this actually refers to what we call a string. It's something that's in between two double quotes and you can write whatever you want inside of it. It will not affect the code, well in this case it, uh, it won't affect the expression. Okay but anyways, to get back to the video I just like to change it to an underscore. Just like this. Okay and give it another preview run to see how things are looking. Ok so I think that's alright for this effect. I'm gonna leave it here for this tutorial. Guys make sure to give this video a like if it helped you out. Make sure to write something down in the description. Maybe you wanna see a tutorial on a certain subject. I'm open to everything so yeah. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel and also hit that notification button. It helps me out a lot. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.